everyone, it's Janie from Savvy for Life and welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy DIY cork board that's modular. Do you ever have lots of things that you want to put on a cork board, but when you go to buy a cork board, they're only yay big and yay wide and it doesn't fit everything that you need? Well, I've got a solution for you and it's an IKEA hack, so stay tuned. So the materials that you need for this easy DIY modular cork board are everything here in front of me. Um, these are some acrylic paint that's left over from my kids' projects. I have um, a playroom that's filled with a bunch of these things. So I just picked turquoise and yellows. I like the combination of the two colors. Um, as well as I picked this one, which is a metallic antique copper color. Right now, metallics are in an interior design and I love anything that has a gold or a coppery uh, finish to it. So I'm gonna incorporate this into the color. And then these here are just samples of paint. They're little samples of paint. You can get them at your local hardware store. I got these at Home Depot and the reason why I like the ones at Home Depot are that they're less than $5 for one of these and they are actual paint. Um, some paint stores will give you sample sizes, but they're not actually paint. They, they could be a diluted form of paint. Um, they're not actual paint that you can use and put on walls. They're actually just made to use on the walls as sample colors. So when you go to a, a hardware store or a paint store and you're not sure of picking a color for a space, I highly, highly recommend that you get a sample. Um, and put it on your wall before finalizing and buying a gallon or five gallon bucket of the paint. Um, I think it's a small investment, but it makes a huge difference because that $5 investment or three or four of these, a like $20 investment will ensure that you get the right color. So these are actually left over from a project or I've got a bunch of these from projects as an interior designer because I'm always sampling colors. Um, this one here is sort of like a, uh, a pinky uh, sample and this one here is a sort of like a deep orange. Um, I just love the colors and picked ones that I thought would work together and that were fun um, and bright. So yeah, so for less than five dollars, if you have some of these lying around, uh, use them. If not, you can just get these little bottles of acrylic paint. Um, at uh, your local craft store. Really simple. Uh, then I have two types of brushes. I have one that's kind of like a, a bigger brush for more wider painting and then I have a smaller brush for some of the smaller detail painting. And then I have painter's tape. This is amazing stuff. Now this stuff, basically you could, you know, you use it or painters use it uh, when they're trying to make a straight line when using paint. Um, the best thing about these are that it's a low tack, so it doesn't peel the, the, the drywall or the paint off when you peel it off. So instead of using like masking tape, which can be a little too tacky, and if you leave it on there after you've painted a surface with it, uh, it could possibly remove the drywall when you're removing the tape. So I don't recommend using masking tape. Uh, painter's tape, you can get this again at your local hardware store. And for this tutorial, I'm using three different sizes. I've got, uh, I think this is a three quarter inch width, um, this is a one inch width, and this is a two inch width. Now, you don't need to get all these three different sizes. Uh, if you just had one of these, like a, an inch, you could double up to get the two inch, or if you wanna cut this in half, and you can get half inch. I mean, really, it's not like you have to buy all of these tapes in different sizes. I just have the, this lying around because as an interior designer, I just, I'm always painting and I have brushes and paint and tape all the time. And then there's newspaper. This is some newspaper that I'm sure everyone has a lot of. I'm gonna use that just to cover the table so I don't make a mess of the table. And then last but not least, um, for the actual cork itself, what I'm gonna use are Ikea trivets. These are amazing. I love these trivets. Um, what I love about these trivets is that they're circular, so it's not your standard rectangular square edge uh, board that you're gonna make. Uh, there's three of them in one pack, 
And these, I believe I just picked them up for $3.99, so less than $4 uh, for three of them. And that's a great, great price point. And the best part about this is that the cork is very, it's thick. It's, um, I don't know the exact measurement. I'm gonna guess that it's probably about half an inch thick. And for when you're putting thumbtacks into a cork, you know, I find a lot of the cork boards that I buy or some of the cork um, rolls that you could use to make into a cork board, they're not as thick. They're really, really thin. And so I find that when I did buy those in the past, um, putting a, uh, a pin into it didn't secure it as well. Whereas these are thick enough that when you do put a push pin into it, it will stay. So um, here's just a sample. I just did one. I was testing out the paint colors and I just took a trivet. I banded off uh, one side with tape and then I used my orange on this side and I used the turquoise on that side. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this and make three other designs with three uh, different patterns and colors and, and I'll show you how the final product looks.
All right, guys, that's my video for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you like this video. If you do, please share with your friends, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day, and stay savvy.